Good evening and welcome to Paranormal Path. And um, tonight we have Wednesday Paranormal and the Sausage Roll. How are you doing? <laughs> we like the sausage rolls down in Wensbury. Is it Greg's one? Having a picnic. Having a picnic. And why not? Nice picnic kind of sort of uh, Monday night in there. The second time in my life. <laughs> what, change to the sausage? Really? <laughs> First time was at school. <laughs> Well, I'm not saying anything there. So yeah. we started off as we mean to go on. We are talking about paranormal tonight. Like, really <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even actually find it on Facebook, so I don't know what's happening. doesn't yeah. seem to be updating, so I can't share it at the moment. I so, know we're only not past the watershed. Shed, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, that yeah. so I'm talking to these guy again, guys again, Wednesday Paranormal, so who's Wednesday Paranormal? They're any good. I don't know who are they. Who are they? You tell me. Well, let's create one. Who I get called it enough? <laughs> Change the name. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got Louisa watching. Hi, Louisa. So, who Hello, are Wednesday Paranormal then? I don't know. A bunch of nobodies, really. Just a bunch of scruffs from a trampy town about the M6. We're all orphans and wives, wives and strays. No, we're, we're alleged paranormal, alleged paranormal team um, from yeah, from the Midlands in the UK, and uh, we've been doing it for ages now. Yeah, you we do events. Yeah, we do it up and down the country, and made lots of friends and raised lots yeah. of money for the Samaritans, and yeah, specialising. Well, yeah. That was incredible, that was. How much did you raise for the Samaritan? Uh, speak for yourself, Purple Miss says. Um, oh. <laughs> Hi, Nando. Jeez, welcome. Hi, <laughs> <Oi, Nando's. laughs> Hi, Ma. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's coming on now. I couldn't share because it was just um, oh. being silly at the moment. Uh, hi, uh, Carl. Well, hope Paul. you're well. Yeah, so... Well, um, how how long have you been around then doing paranormal then Russ? He's been forever. Forever. I was born. I was oh, born in. I'm, I'm the son of an <laughs> yeah. incubus. I'm the son of an incubus. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was rejected from the cult family when I was born, and then uh, no, sorry, I've been in paranormal twenty odd years, and in the before the days of, of the internet. So, but it was all done by a book. So I've been down the rabbit hole most of my life, and then I met up with these lovely lads, and, and they're exactly the same. Yeah, we've yeah. known each other a few years more than. It well, is brilliant, though. It really is, and it's it's great the friendship that you have between each other, and also the chemistry you have. Liz, Liz, Just, Mark, hello, yeah, Mark. Got my dad, got his granddad. <laughs> and we've got we've got Mandy as well. Hi, you oh, lovely. Well. <laughs> the missus is on there. Behave. Yeah. Behave. Yeah, Mandy's yeah. been eating my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you sort of go to some incredible locations. Like, when, what was your first location you did as Wensbury? Mm. Well, that's a long well I, I had a, was a written, well, but the new Wensbury, the old Wensbury, the old Wensbury um, before these guys joined, when it was me and uh, a couple of others. Yeah, uh, John Smith and John Tolliday. We did the first event. First event we did, or first location. Location, really? First location of research as Wednesday was Stoke Town Hall. And, oh, wow. Uh, we joined up with the, uh, not Ghost on Trent, the other one, Richard Hawkins' lot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Ghost, yeah. Ghost, yeah. Academy, yeah. Ghost yeah, Academy, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the church name, name, haven't they? Hi, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah. So we went. We went with them to at the Stoke Town Hall, and we did vigils in the um, in, in the, the hospital <coughs> area, hospital bay, cells. It was a pretty active night, and really just give us the thirst to continue and carry on, and try That's and brilliant. give. That's not a location. Effect. That's not a location now, is it? I don't know. I think you can. I'm sure that um, I think the Ghost Academy still. Still do events there on, on oh, the right, internet. okay, because I don't I don't see it get mentioned. 
Yeah, no, you can still get them. You can. Oh, nice. It, it's it's a really good active place. If you if you ever get to see an event advertised there, then, then, then go. It's um, yeah. If I remember right, there's a bit of a dark darker entity that lingers in the uh, in the tunnel area of it towards the old cell at the end. And I remember just catching photographs of, of a shadow figure marauding up and down the, the tunnel. So that was that was pretty interesting. Oh, right? that? Hello, Neil. 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 Yeah, yeah. Neil. Yeah, so I don't just want to leave, ask these lads where their first ones. Yeah, what about, what about you two then? Well, so who my, was first, my first one was actually um, a, an event run by uh, Wensbury Parra at the time. Old Wensbury Parra. Old Wensbury Parra, and uh, <laughs> it was at Guy's Cliff. And uh, I went there and, uh, yeah, I got hooked. First, not first time ever, and straight, sort of straight after was says, if you want to come on another one, you're more than willing, and away we went from there. So yeah, Guy's Cliff was my first one. Guy's Cliff first House. ever. Warwick, Cliff House. Warwick. best That's place as well. It is an awesome location. So. Yeah, yeah. It is. Masonic Lodge. Mm -hmm. uh, September 2019. That's when I met. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember dates. <laughs> no, I can't. So, Went to Smedic Baps to the famous TV host who was running an event there and went and singing like a one and punch. You <laughs> <laughs> look when, when you get together, <laughs> who's the guy in the middle? There you go. <laughs> I didn't know until right at the end of the event when he says thanks for running the paranormal for helping house. And I was like, when is free? We're looking for ages for a local group. And I we're all short and bold. That claims we're all short and bold. We're all short and bold. Oh, and you did not break Mark's um, SLS either then. <laughs> oh, yes. Mark, first thing he did me was his gadget. Two hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and his SLS. And his SLS. <laughs> so, did you wreck it then? Oh, we wrecked it. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I'm like, no, you saw where someone pointed something. I'm like, oh, something there, something there. I doubt at the time, he's probably thinking, oh, God, he's like, you know. But I was just keen, naive person. Just first event, thinking it's going to be exactly like on the TV, which it wasn't. But it was a bit of a quiet night. So right at the end, when it was like that DVB and the tunnels, and then I thought someone had made it up. So I was trying my best to be home, and I couldn't. I had a genuine rush, and from there, I started my journey, and then eventually, after about a year doing it, so different teams and good on the arm and that, we had a space opening, so ever since then, they were good. Yeah. Jackie, yeah. he stalked, stalked me incessantly for one year, asking to be part of the team, <laughs> so I recruited him as the, I recruited him as the tea boy, <laughs> and he was useless. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no good with the equipment anyway. <laughs> hey Scott. We've got your son here as well. Adam. Hello, Adam. Yeah. Hello, Adam. Just I'm pop in on briefly. Oh, Hello to Nelly and Dan Love swinging right. There you go. <laughs> swinging nice. night. Adam, <laughs> I'm Adam's, a a team, right. Adam's a team's voyeur. Whenever where is he? <laughs> he walks around spy on everybody, making sure that they're all behaving. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he does. Bless him, and he likes Yvette as well, doesn't he? Yeah, just a, little, just a lot. Yeah, <laughs> bless you, yeah. Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he waits for Yvette to put a washing on the line, and he, he, it all goes missing when he's about. <laughs> Adam wants to share your sausage, I think. And calls <laughs> under pants. <laughs> <laughs> he wants some sausage, Ad. Nice <laughs> one. It's not my role. It's not my role. Oh, no, trust you. Scott, I hope you are well. We are. Cheers. Uh, Paul Purchase, hi, guys, as well. Mr. P's on, Mr. Purchase. Can Purchase. Big shout to K2 Paranormal. Yes. Mr. Purchase. Oh, K2 Paranormal. Not met you guys yet. I don't think. Well, not as K2 Purchase. anyway. Have I? Yeah, you've met not, them. You've met you Paul, though. I've met Paul, yeah. I don't know if I've met that team. That's, I don't know. That's his team. Paul and Lynn. 
Paul, seven foot eight, and, and um, you'll never forget Paul when you meet him. <laughs> yeah, he's a dingle. Oh, we're not allowed to mention legally how much Adam likes Yvette. Oh, there you go. Oh. Then. <laughs> we, won't, we won't mention oh, that. Then. There's an ongoing case. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard Adam, Adam is the illicit son of Yvette and, and, the, and, the, and Stuart, isn't it? The bald one. <laughs> 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 you love that, don't you, Adam? <laughs> or, or Fred. Adam and Fred and Yvette. With a bit of Coronation Street. So oh, only, only seven foot nine. Yeah, I was only seven foot nine. I'm really short. Um, <laughs> good job you're not my two dogs would scoff those sausage rolls. Oh, yeah, my oh, God. God. Oh, God. He's gone for your pooches, mate. <laughs> oh, Fresh. Really? If you look at the pastry, there's some good texture in that. It's a nice sausage moist. <laughs> Now soggy bottom anywhere. <laughs> if you're watching in the US, I don't know if you know what sausage rolls are, but um they're just hmm. like meat in some pastry, aren't they really? Is this yeah. going in America? Well they know what a sausage yeah. roll is. Yeah, what I don't they? know. I don't know if you sell sausage rolls sausage out there or roll. not. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rolling rolling so, your sausage. I hope you make a good cup of tea because Mandy Bell won't be friends with you if you don't. Oh, Mandy, we, we do the best cups of... Well, Neil does. Neil's a tea boy, official. He's good at tea bags. Yeah. <laughs> tea boy? <laughs> he can handle his tea bags really well. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Adam likes Claire. his six Claire. inches. Say happy birthday to Claire, everybody. It was a birthday. Oh, happy Tim birthday, is. Claire. Oh. Where are you? You moved. Claire happy doom, birthday, doom Claire. Band. You are going to sing? Doom. Can we sing happy birthday to Claire? Yeah, yeah, go on, man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Claire. Happy birthday to you. We've got Wayne as well. Oh, Paul wants to for Greg's sausage rolls. These ain't quite a full Greg sausage rolls. These are the French beer, aren't you? Yeah, these are Alan, Al, Alan's or some Aldi's. <laughs> <laughs> Aldi's. <laughs> oh, does the oh, brothers say it doesn't look the same, Russ, without a beer in his hand? <laughs> you know me too well. Oh, you don't know what's in here. The Russ's sausage rolls there. You don't know what's so, in there. Got some happy birthdays oh, from Tracy, from Mandy Bell, from Paul, oh, from Mark Williams. Yes. Claire's uh, lovely and it's her sister's birthday as well. We went to Derby, Derby Jail, Derby Goal with them. And with your oh, friend, Mr. Felix. Hard. Yeah, he spent three hours talking about his silica and these stuff. Yeah, the room, and the York. ghost he saw at um, half past yeah. three. And it, we, we watched him drink a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> oh, bless him. Uh, you know, she's still so bright. He's still about Make sure yeah, you 21 again, Claire. Oh, here's another fan of Yorkshire tea. Oh, there you go. You've screwed that up. It's so Claire likes a veggie sausage. Oh, Claire don't like meat. That's it. Claire, no. She's a vegan. There you go. Hi, Gary. How are you doing? That's the G man. Yeah, I know. Awesome guy. Awesome medium. Spoke to Gary. Gary's on. Christmas. Oh, yeah, I met Gary at Warwick, but then I think next, the second time I met him is when you're at so one of the events at Smethwick. Yeah. Smethwick was an so awesome cool. location, wasn't it? It was It was one of the best locations in the yeah. UK at the time. And, um, you know, a testament to Andy Moore for managing it for so long. And I was hey, good well, when it was like, I like that, I like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, I like that. Well, got, stay away from Gary, don't you? Warning. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Gary's always in the hot tub, uh, making he bubbles. Is. In the <laughs> now he's got his new kitchen sorted out. And he's always that's outside it, yeah. in his hot tub. <laughs> hey, Johnny. It's where he does his cooking. Oh, Johnny, be good. Johnny, be good. Big Mark out. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Wow. <laughs> Lovely there family. Is eh? you, uh, the UK Paro family is, is top notch and it's great how we all know each other and have a have a good bit of banter, isn't it? And laugh. Yes. Because I've actually met most people on here who are watching. 
you know, yeah. like we've got Gary up near Liverpool, we've got you yeah. guys, Wayne down in, in Colchester way. Yeah. And I met all of you. And it's awesome, isn't it? Um, well, a lot of you. Yeah. And no time for backbiting and slating each other. We still have a bit of banter and laugh and respect everything that you all, every one of us do. So. Well, you know, everyone, no one's going to get on with everybody, are they? But you just get on with it. You, you know what I mean? You don't get on with them. Just walk away, leave them to it. There you go. Yeah. And there's, there's enough negativity. Just find your friends. Find out who does things the same way. Just yeah. go and enjoy it. Life's too short, isn't yeah. it? Glory, go make some memories. That's what it's all about. There's enough people. But that's right, yeah. <coughs> like some Tracy. people like moaning over. Yeah, Tracy 57. I didn't know. I wouldn't have thought that, to be fair. Yeah. So um I used to um work work with Tracy with another team. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. Um, that's what makes it a great community. And yeah, it does, doesn't it? And yeah, I met Johnny at the Hermit's Cave. So um, this Johnny is a great Hermit? location. It's in Derbyshire and a place called Dale Abbey. Yeah. And it's just a cave. And this guy used to live there for years. Um, he had a calling yeah. from the Virgin Mary or something yeah, he he to live in this yeah. cave. But uh, now it sounds like it's on private land. Uh, but it's near a footpath. So I don't kind of know how it's working because it is for sale. At, the land is for sale at the moment. Ooh. So, but at the moment it's too muddy to go. But yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, you know it, it doesn't cost Sarah. Really nice, does it? Sarah's from Google, doesn't she? Yeah. We'll have to go out, Tracy. Sort something out. I, I totally agree. There, in relation to um, our heritage, is falling day by day. I mean, all our haunted heritage. I mean, I mean, there's local places to me that's been sold off and knocked down to build to build. Apartments and housing and etc. But they're knocking down our affordable home. Yeah, knocking down our heritage and our haunted history. That's to, right. To make way for it now, Smedic Baths, like you just mentioned, is a private. Oh, that's bath. that's a shocker. That should have been yeah. a listed building. Yeah, it was a bit. Part, part of it is. is. Part, part of it is, is listed. Right too, yeah. So it's 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 it's. I mean, it, that place is so much of our history. Just underneath the pool, not just the pool itself. The yeah. stain. The it's the underneath bit, it. which was a special bit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an Art Deco building. It's it should, it's going to end up being becoming some, basically. I know these these small pigeon Careful. coop slums. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't <laughs> say what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> you keep you try to keep your brain in tonight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, that's what that bugs me. Really bugs me. Yeah, it was so strange. Like, I did go to Smethwick, and my medium shit was really on form that night. And um, I was with Chris Wilcox, and oh, I met you guys there. And I think, Jolie, yeah, Jolene were there, Gary were there. And I was in the like the gym room right near the swimming pool, and I brought the Cray, Cray twins through. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Terry, Terry Cooper was there, and she'd just picked up, oh, here we go, speak of a devil, not the Cray twins. Hey. Hi, yeah, mm -hmm. how you doing? Hi, Joe. Jo. Jo. So yeah, we we I just picked up the Cray twins and I got a really horrible image. But and then another medium said that you know That's she'd picked up on them as well, and it was like it's brilliant. But you know you have the swimming pool area where you used to have the bands on, and then underneath you got all the the sort of the carvings and everything, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. From the air raid shelter, yeah, the drawings on the walls. And... Yeah, that's right. And then you'll never see them again. Yeah, um, that's right. Because you know, you're talking about Jolene and then psychic, she just pops on just like that. No, she can hear us. We just send the message out. I don't know, Joe. <laughs> oh, Leicester Hospital as well. Yeah. Did you ever go there? Never got to do that. No. Oh wow. It's, it's just everywhere. I'm just I don't, they are on a mission to destroy our heritage, and people need to watch, do something about it. I mean, they just they don't want it. They do not want our association with the past. It's all about change. And it's like the crooked house was disgusting, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was it. Don't go there. Oh, don't yeah. go no, there. No, no, we're not. That was unbelievable. Yeah, but yeah, we all know what happened there. That was blatant. Well, um, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Paul mentions that he did Wilderthorpe, and yeah, that that was the event to be on, wasn't it? 
Well, the whole weekend. So we did that weekend last year. Last in, year yeah. Was it March? Yeah, March. Yeah, March. Yeah. End of March. And yeah. it was going to be a paranormal um, weekend. We, we, we basically, for Friday, Saturday, and leave Sunday, it was going to be a, a research weekend. But by the time oh, we got there, and we, we'd all, we was all going through spiritual journeys and awakenings. We was all... Uh, it ended up being a retreat <laughs> rather than a ghost wow. So there was that much going on spiritually in relation to you know, shamanistic drumming, sound vibrational healing. So we had the tool. That's Kirsty, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kirsty did that, yeah. Kirsty, yeah. Sound baths. And lots of food and, ben and, and drink. Lou. Yeah, Ben and Lou did a talk as well, yeah. Lou's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so we, we just turned out being one big family get together and. We loved yeah. it, you know. Yeah, it really was a cracky weekend. Yeah, I, I sort of get stuck a lot of times because I've got a dog. So I've just like booked four weekends for the dog in kennels for the year. <laughs> and it's like, well, you can only do it so often, can't you? Mm, yeah. Doggy so... kennels. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, tell what's right there, what's these doggy, doggy kennels? Dog at the wrong end of the dog. <laughs> oh, the dog in kennels because they can't come with us <laughs> yeah so you know i can only travel about an hour but um i did make it to the nunnery one night and that's an amazing yeah. place nunnery the so nunnery, yeah. that's often that lawrence who yeah, yeah that's, that's that's spectacular so the nunnery willie the you know, manor hotel and george jarvis george school jarvis. those are three yeah. that need every bucket list for the uk and nat that's lawrence right. smashed it to bits you know. Yeah to, going. To, yeah, to actually find these like abandoned buildings, go in, clean them up, and then yeah. look, make them secure for us to go around them and yeah. investigate. Yeah. In it's them. Sammy Craig and Gemma at the Haunted Museum in Stoke. Yeah. Know, and, and Neil and Neil with Neil. Uh, with yeah, that's group. it. It's testament to all these people who are actually going out there and doing it and setting it up for research purposes. No fakery, just pure research. Just, so it's all yeah, just real. <clears throat> and they're in it for the passion as well, you yeah, know. Exactly. And, and like any evidence to do, it's just real. You, you know, yeah. they'll they'll do their lives, they'll do chats, they'll do whatever, and it's just real, isn't it? And that's yeah. what counts. And anybody who does that and um, puts their heart on the sleeve and, and, and represents UK paranormal, UK heritage. We'll always get ready for paranormal back in respect and promotion all the time. Yeah. I mean, and it's like Jolene and Gary are on this evening, Mark Williams. I mean, these are three, and, and Alistair, and they're all on Paul. They're, they're all, brilliant. They're, all, they're all so yeah. passionate about what they're doing. They all play a pivotal role. It's not just about people like me with a big mouth coming on and talking. I'm just purely trying to be a bit of glue and bond everybody together so everybody can shine and everybody can. Everybody can research together and bring that proof of the afterlife. That's right, yeah. That's all we but, want. Yeah, all but we want. I do like the experiments that you guys do. So oh, yeah, yeah. When, when we come to your events, <laughs> yeah, you, you do host public events, but it's not just your standard experiments, is it? You had me lying in a coffin. Yeah. Um, I can't remember oh, where... Who, who had you in the, who had you like the coffee? It weren't me. What are these two? Was that Ashbourne? That was Ashbourne, wasn't it? When that weird stuff was going on. Yeah, so we, we did that was called the ferryman. We did the ferryman experiment with that the old was it. coins. So I put Victorian coins, um, or the old coins, pay your toll to the other side. And then we plugged you in the um obviously into an Estes type scenario. Yeah. While you was blindfolded on and with the coins on your face, we was doing lots of Ritualistic things around around you nice. to try and open the uh, open the the gateway. <laughs> yeah, but we do try. We do try, as you say, going back to the experiment. We do try to do uh, mix it up and do lots of things. And oh, okay. We've got, this a new one. We've, got, we've got a new one. We've got to try now. We're scrying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like scrying because I usually do sort of get oh, you'll, things. You'll love this one then. The yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got a new new version. We've upgraded. We've upgraded it some, some what? Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, was... I know it won't be like sort of standard, will it, with you guys? We know no, that. Definitely standard. Yeah. Can I just ask about this um, smoke ITC? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Joe, we went to Morecambe. Park Hotel, and we did. Oh, that was a good one as well. Loads went oh, to that, didn't yeah. they? 
in the evening there, and then Jolene decided she was going to set the basement on fire, and then <laughs> um, and then leave me to call the caretaker, who was a black belt in in jujitsu, and he was Daniel Craig's stunt double. To tell him that his place was burning down and they had to call the fire engine out. He even had to get an axe to open his office because he hadn't got the key. He had to axe yeah. his door off. Yeah. Oh, no, no. And then Jolene's just down there sitting looking pretty as usual, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, it was great. <laughs> Apart from that, brilliant. You know, it's, my alarm's going off for three hours and I got kicked in the nudges. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did. <laughs> It's wonderful so but you know sure whatever you do with paranormal it's an experience isn't it? especially with you guys yeah carry on yeah, <laughs> yeah. i think the guys will agree with we, we do like to play up a bit between breaks where our vigils are um, you know legendary oh, over against anybody yeah yeah we we, we 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 are so passionate about them so we will not play up few vigils but yeah i think but because it's such a dark and taboo subject we, you have to kick back a little bit you know well it, well, it kind of well, it gives you the energy, doesn't it? You you've got all that great chemistry between you, so I guess generally stuff will happen when you're around. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I, that's it. I, I'm finding though lately it seems to be coming to you more when you're just sitting back, having, having sitting the laugh. Doing nothing. Yeah. When you're doing nothing and just having a laugh and a joke, you know, and they get a bit pissed off. You're not doing. Yeah, that. that's, that's it. Yeah, cool. they go hello. <laughs> <laughs> Now come out to the <laughs> so, so I highly recommend just sitting there with a pack of cards and a couple of cans and just letting them come and join in. Yeah. <laughs> really it breaking is. the boundaries, <clears throat> forefront of the paranormal. Well, yeah, we, had, we ended up doing that the other night. Um, we, we, went to, we went to do a seance, but in fact, we just ended up chatting. And like we thought, oh yeah, I hope you're enjoying this conversation, guys. You know, because you get to know people that are like the spirits around the location, don't you? Yeah. But, you know, and you kind of feel that they protect you as well to some degree. Mm -hmm. And that I hadn't seen them this this year until now, you know, and it, it's just wonderful. Um, yeah. looking forward to going out and about with the lads. That's Amanda Hadley. I am Amanda from Black Country Paranutters. Yeah. And um, Jolene still giggles about that and Nicky. Nicky and I were giggling all night when he turned it with the angle grinder. That was priceless. <laughs> Nicky did a runner. <laughs> Jolene says her and Nicky were on grinder and they're supposed to be doing videos. <laughs> yeah, well, Sweet yeah. left. Sweet <laughs> left. <laughs> Gary Light, the police. <laughs> and Dennis came along. <laughs> Enjoyed the bottom police station. Oh, Bolton station. Oh, Bolton police station. Ah. The bottom police station. <laughs> <laughs> I think my eyes are gone dodgy. I think the screen's smaller than normal, so I can't actually read it anymore. Yeah. Um, the most hilarious paranormal experience was there, though, that Morecambe. So, yeah. Awesome. We, we, we've been oh, messing around recently. Yeah. We had to please. Yeah. We've been <laughs> messing around recently with frequencies and energy, so using... Tesla calls and negative ions and you know some some obscure frequencies that, that can play havoc with you with, with your, yeah. you know, your system. But I mean, some sometimes when you got a Tesla call and copper wires, I mean you've got to be careful because you're an electric circuit in yourself. <laughs> so I don't think our liability insurance covers that. So we're steering clear. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, Richard Felix set yeah. something up as well. Um, with the smoke and stuff, try and you know get images through on the smoke and mm -hmm. laser and stuff. And he test out uh, stone tape theory, and he touched yeah. something. He got a bit of a zap from it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it does happen, doesn't it? You got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All so, for the <laughs> Yeah. Smart so policies. um, what's so? Where were you last week? And you're at a hotel, wasn't it? No, Saturday gone. We Saturday were just well, we, yeah, Lightwood's house and mm -hmm. uh, well, Bearwood just out, just it's about ten minutes from Smithwick now. Yeah, all right. Uh, first time it's ever been investigated. Yeah, that so, was through Sandwell Council. So if Sarah Wolfgrove is watching the lady. Yeah, let us have the place. Sarah with, Lynn, big shout yeah. out. So oh, first fantastic. team to, to do an event there. Now um, Neil's uh, girlfriend, the haunted historian Mandy West, has been on your show. Yeah. Did a, a, a dossier, a report on the, the place.
place and it's an alleged cursed building because of all wow. the deaths. There's 15 deaths that Mandy found during her report. Um, I, I haven't told the lads yet, but there was a girl fell down the stairs. I think her name was Hannah. And I, I didn't know this at the time, but as I walked past the stairwell, I saw a lady in a brown dress coming down the stairs with a white muffled top on her dress. And she was tripped. I saw her visually trip over at the bottom of her dress just for that splitting second. And uh, when we got in and I read the report, um, yeah, her name was Anna and she, she tripped and broke her neck on the dress, on, on the stairwell. Oh, wow. That was just one of them. Sure, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the unexplained death of that girl, what was that with the sleeping woman? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that many, but all the ladies that seemed to live yeah. there seemed to pass you know, in a specific state of time. It was... It was also used uh, as an army hospital, first world yeah. war, from the oh, okay. So, the, the, I just said the possibilities was endless. Oh, yeah, definitely, it was, yeah. It was, it was a but it's a beautiful building. Yeah. So, they someone fell on the stairs and purple mist nearly did as well. Why so, yeah. As soon as we walked into the place, Joe didn't know at the time, but as soon as we walked into the, the the uh, room where they were keeping the soldiers, she, I, I asked her what she felt, and she straight away says, "I can smell like uh, disinfectant, as if it's as, as if it's like a hospital." Oh, that man. was the very first, very first within like a, a second of her walking through the door. Incredible. It was what she picked up. Yeah, it was fab fabulous. Joe yeah. was. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, oh, I'm wow. just amazed at the UK. You know, oh yeah, David. From Watching from Clearwater Beach in Florida. Oh, oh that's wow. beautiful there. Impressive. I went, there on my went to Clearwater on my honeymoon. It was just it's amazing. Yeah, from 727 Paranormal Life. So 727 Paranormal Life. Big yeah. shout out. From <laughs> Clearwater <laughs> Beach, Florida. That sounds so cool, doesn't it? Yeah. We're sort of kind of mile. We're about 80 miles from the beach, aren't we? It's um yeah. yeah. And then the beach that we buy is probably sewage pipe. <laughs> well, you know, that's the one, isn't it? That was Skeg yeah, so, Vegas, but there you go. Yeah. I mean, I love, I, I love the UK scene in relation to what we've got history wise, but I mean, I envy some of these teams that are in Florida and. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. We've been to bitches than bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's, he's been really cool to us. It's 71 degrees today. Oh, oh. hello. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, minus, it's minus three degrees centigrade here at the moment. Oh, yeah. e, that's grim. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. How are you doing? You're okay. Happy yeah. birthday, David. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so you've got a lot lined up this year then. You did quite a few investigations at the RAM. How are they going? Yeah, we do really well. I mean, it's... Um... You know, we're quick. We're lucky to, to have a have a slot there and, and you know work for the Ram and host evenings. Uh, yeah. there's, a couple, there's another team that they also do. I think it's haunted, haunted nights, awesome, and they're another cracking team. So, you know, I get, it, it, the, all Midlands based teams as well that so get to do the Ram, which is, you know, yeah. is this where the, 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 the A1 investigators come from? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> no, no, it's good because I know haunting nights. I've met them. It's Sue, isn't it? Susan, so, like, there. And it's Paul Dutton's team. Uh, oh yeah, I've met put, met them um, at the Galleries of Justice in Nottingham. So yeah, that they're, they're incredible. So yeah, yeah, yeah great right. team. No, right, no bad teams really in the UK. Just that um, it's, it's just well, I'm not you know, I'm saying there's, there's good in every team. I know it's a bit that, that's right, isn't it? You just got to choose wisely. You know, cho choose yeah. the team what suits you really. And yeah. you know there are genuine people out there then there's some to avoid but you know it's up to you and you you decide yourself what you know what's right for you yeah. and I that's it when we do we i mean as i say we i think we take it to heart that we try and give a bit of everything you know go old school new school and future school you know we, we try yeah. and think in the future what we're going to be doing as, as neil mentioned there um you know the variation on scrying we're doing with, 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 with the new experiments of Bring out another 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 testament to, to, to that to that experiment. So, yeah. You know, and it's like, it's like with the Estes. You know, what's the next Estes? What what becomes after Estes? Estes, Estes is everybody seems to be everybody's go to. What's I the like next it. Estes? Yeah. 
yeah, what is the next stage in ITC? What's next? And I mean, That's the people, right. who do, the people who are doing the work, you know, I won't mention Andy Steyer and Andy Bailey and, and all the, um, the, the, the manufacturers of equipment out there. Keep going. Don't be scared. Just do it. We'll test it for you. We'll test it. The we'll geniuses, test it. aren't they, really? The, the ideas that come out with, it's brilliant. I love, yeah, I love I mean, Andy's um, lights. Yeah, yeah. Magic, yeah. Really They're brilliant. Magic. So they're um, so EMF they're trips, EMF. EMF trips, PIR trip wires, all the, all all this. I mean, where would we be without these guys? You know, putting that's this right, trip, yeah. Trip, it's out there, and we need to we need to back them. We need to back these people. Definitely. Yeah, so I'm not yeah. trying to get any freebies, Andy, or, or the <laughs> yeah. <animals. laughs> yeah. Oh, here's Kirsty. Yeah. We mentioned Kirsty yeah. earlier. So we've got the these crying rem mirror. It, yeah. Rem mirror. yeah, that's the one at the um, that's a good one. Is that the it? one? Yeah. Sounds a great idea. Um David, no, David no. David says, Do you guys ever notice that you get more activity when it's warm than cold? Well, I, I, based on the, the weather, I think I, I, it's, it seems to be more when it's stormy, obviously because of the electrics and atmospherics. But um, yeah, I suppose you get a bit of both there. Don't you? If cold. it's if it's cold, normally you can keep the energy levels on. Yeah, well, true. Because when you get to a sort of midnight and one o'clock, the energy starts to yeah, that's wave true. Up a bit, especially if it's warm. So if it's cold, it probably keeps you going. Is David? Is David? Is Mitchie's on? Is Neil's brother? Yeah, I mean, brother. Is David the one from Florida? Yes. It's always it's always going to be warm there, David. So you're never going to get the right, fire. Aren't you? Unless you're in a fridge. Unless he's in a fridge. <laughs> yeah. Where does he I go? Know, it must it must be weird to actually have it warm because like we go to these buildings, they're really cold, right. and they actually yeah. seem to be colder than should be as well. I don't know. Yeah. I stay, yeah. 17 pairs of gloves before yeah. I can tell you when. I, I tell you, Saturday I had to try and establish if it was male or female. It was that cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, what, what, if, uh... <laughs> what can we say? Yeah, no. We've got a question. We're we'll just breaking it one up. <laughs> Not yet. We're off then. Not yet. 20 <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a question here from Neil Smith then. Um, have you ever seen a full bodied apparition? Ooh. You Russ? probably have. Yeah, I, 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 I won't oh. say full bodied. From there. I, I yeah. sort of not full bodied. I've seen it up uh, at the Stout Museum we were talking about earlier on. I'm going to be controversial. And we were both in the same room. We both saw it at, at two different yeah. times. What did you see? Uh, uh, in this, uh, what they class as the what they call the asylum room upstairs, there's a, a window that's boarded off, and just beside of the to the left hand side of the window, uh, one of the uh, K two started going off. So I was looking. I was the other end of the room. I was looking at the K two and saying, "Oh, come on, then say hello and whatnot." And as I was looking at the K two, it was a it wasn't a full apparition, it was only a partial. I could just yeah. make out an outline. I couldn't tell you whether it was male, female, dog, wow. cat or what. But there was definitely a full app uh, outline. You walked saw, yeah. across the, the uh, mm -hmm. yeah, walked across the window. Wow. Then it disappeared for me. And Debbie C was stood about five yards away from me. He picked it up on the wall, coming round the side. <laughs> you saw <laughs> so it then, Dad. Yeah, he, he was he, just as he was mentioning the ceiling. Oh, I said, What's that? He said, Must have walked where the window is. He walked from there and it's got like a little padded room. Yeah, away from there. So it's padded, the doctor's through the padded cell and across the door. Yeah, doing around the room. Yeah. Wow. That was, so, not a full apparition, but certainly a, a, a partial one. And Something, he yeah. Charts, he was in the caretaker's room and it's when I, I used to do a lot of filming and everyone's accounted for what was on the chair. And, Neil was inside the room and he had another team member I thought was next to me. It turns out he was behind me. And I seen a hand, a hand come up and I thought it was one of the team trying to stop me videoing. So when I turned, what are you doing? I turned around, he's behind me. And I looked at the camera after that and the camera's not got it, but I slipped in the eye and I was at my end, playing tricks or what, or something 
Yeah, but you, you <laughs> both saw it though, didn't you? And that's it. Yeah. Saw something. Saw it, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's saw something definitely. Now, my own belief is that I'd like to really and honestly say to people, have you saw a full, you know, as in Ghostbusters, a full head on apparition? I'd love to challenge people who, who have. I'm not going to try and debunk anything because everybody has their own experiences. Yeah, that's in right. 20 plus, in 20 plus years, I saw. Well, I make out with legs, legs walking up the stair, a stairwell. Brilliant. I've saw what these guys probably see. I don't know if I'm, I'm a mist, a grey mist that looks like yeah. shoulders of a head. But a solidity, a solidified physical form. I've, I, know, I know it's the ultimate and it's not winning the lottery. And perhaps the more sensitive, like yourself or Jolene and uh, those watching Gary this evening, are they seeing it physical? Are they seeing it in mind's eye? How are they seeing it? I, yeah. I mean, it's hard because yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. Even if you see it, it's a personal experience yeah, yeah. because if you see it, even if you film it, somebody will say, oh, well, give the camera on and you bump that. See yeah. it or... So you're never going to prove it, but it, it's oh. your own personal experience. It, it's like all the programmes, you know, they keep coming on the captures and all this and the, and the people in presenting it, fair, you know, our friends and, and that, it's all so bloody dubious, isn't it? You know. I know. What, what, yeah, can and it's everybody's interpretation, I know for sure. But the amount of people I've interviewed and speak to when they see an apparition, it's never a full blown like as in you there, Jackie. It's always, I, yeah, always I've never seen an energy, yeah. a piece, uh, uh, you know, it, it's 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 particular particle energized that's creating a form of some yeah. kind, it's never a replicant of a human physical. And that's I'm challenging people, not saying the mediums are mediums do it differently, but me and, and these guys here are, are only partly sensitive. Is it because we're not sensitive enough? But after 20 years, although I've got something, I've never seen like something I'm talking to you, me and you now. Yeah, get never you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I people say, probably say I'm crazy and that I they see it all the time, but these people who say I saw one of those today, I saw I saw, I saw this today. I have to question it because. You know, I've just I've got a bit of science behind me as well. How, how, how it works, like I've just said, yeah, it's always partial or always a, man, a, a slight manifestation. In my opinion, I'm not not, not uh, yeah. for anybody. Mm -hmm. You see, what I what I saw is that might look pavilion. It's public ghost hunt. We're in a circle. Me and another girl were facing the stage. There's this dark mass on the stage. It just got thicker and thicker. Got really black really dense and it got a face on it like a skull okay. and me well, and her never just looked it. at each other you never saw it like i'm sitting here you saw no. it like Matt. no i that's didn't it was energy you'll yeah. see the energy that's exactly yeah. it. you'll see the energy. You'll, see, you'll see the auroric field you'll see particular charge um, and i do think that the, the gifted ones obviously mediums mediums are visualizing it through their mind's eye or whatever way their, their method is yeah and I'm, they, you know and i trust what they say most of them but for people like us, that dark mass or that mist, that's probably the best we'll probably get best as a full apparition, yeah, yeah. the best we're going to get. That's it, yeah. That's right. And it was amazing. And I think because this person next door to me saw it as well, that's all you need, yeah. isn't it? That's all you need, yeah. That's You've got you the need. extra validation and, yeah, did you catch it on camera? No, because I prefer to do, you know. But I have started taking a camera now and, I, you know, I, I do generally have it set up now, but... I, d I don't think you catch a lot of it on camera anyway. You certainly don't catch your feelings on camera. And they don't want to be caught. They'll turn the camera off. Don't they? The amount, yeah, the amount yeah. of people who catch something in their peripheral. peripheral that that yeah. can be explained away an awful lot of times. Oh, people. yeah, that's right. So peripheral vision, like Neil's talking about, can be based on your frequency that you're, you're experiencing at the time. And this is proven. And yeah, um, we've got a frequency, yeah. and it's been proven that um, you play this frequency uh, long enough, and it will uh, affect your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And then what, what they say is when it affects your eyeballs, you will then start to see things in your peripheral, which you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. So it's, in, it's actually induced. That's a yeah. that's an old thesis as well because that, that that's an old so that's been going on because of the London Underground, you know, the London Underground yeah. resonates a certain yeah. frequency. Yeah. That's why yeah. it's alleged haunting because of what people see peripherally. But also, 
you know, like when you you've got that annoying green light in, or you got that in a lot of locations, you know, for your emergency exit light, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. amazing like you're in a dark scenario and you see it moving, and everyone does, and your eyes play tricks in the dark, don't they? Yeah. And you've got to kind of rule that out. I mean, as well as these guys, the amount of you know, again, people who see something and take a picture and I believe they've got it. No, it's fair, that's that's fair enough, but ninety nine percent of it's pareidolia, isn't it? You know, it's it's yeah, it's, that's right. it's, it's always pareidolia. I mean, whenever you capture something that you you know, there's got a good chance you can't disprove it. It's very, very, very rare, isn't it? And yeah, that's you know, right. That's people that do get something that's unexplained, but everything seems to be like this, that's coming on socials now and YouTube and they yeah. just. Uh, it's entertaining, but it's not educating the, the, the newbies, the, the legacy of ours correctly. Just money That's making. Right. It's com the commercial side of it's stupid now. That's but, why a lot of, you, you will get it now on, a, on an invest. You'll get, uh, and, and it's the first, very first thing that we will say to uh, a group of people on an invest. Don't expect what happens on most old in every night. Yeah. Oh, week. gosh, You'll yeah. Not get that. Yeah, so uh, and, and, and and because they've been watching these programs, I mean, we can't stop them. Yeah. But they yeah. are group. They are expecting to see something happen. Yeah. I, I've had That's guests. Bad. I've had guests when I've, you mentioned the ramp when I've been down there, and I've turned up. I won't name the YouTube um, channel that they all support. They come okay. on the night, and they all turned up with the GoPros and the 4K uh, yeah. camcorders and. All there filming each other, you know, it's a big group, and I'm going, hold on a minute. Okay, so let's let's sit down and do a mass uh, mass trinity, mass 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 S stairs. Let's plug you all in. What's that? Okay, um, right. Do, do you know what this piece of equipment is? No. We only use it. No. So we, well, we only watch this channel, but this channel gives us all the evidence we need and the proof we need. Oh, okay. So I'll get back and I'll watch this out what we're doing wrong. You know, we haven't been able to be yeah. Our methods, so I'll go on, switch it on YouTube, put it on. Within two seconds, this this team are being flown over from America with all their 4K HD camcorders, and they walk into this haunted location. Two of them run out screaming within 30 seconds. Wow! 300 million likes. They get paid so much money, and I'm like, going on? If you hear a bang and knock a scream, a DVP walking through electromagnetic field. It's just you run after it, don't you? Yeah? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the whole point. Run towards oh, it. Like, 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 sell the merge, sell the merge. Oh, just God, do, no. do something tangible that's, 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 that's good for the scene, at least, you know, for the community. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I, I know there are a lot of entertainment movie. shows, definitely. Yeah, my rant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? If you're going to hear something, if you're going to see demonic, oh, everything's demonic, isn't it? There's an imps and demon, oh, demons God, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, Why do people say handcuffs? Yeah, oh, handcuffs, yeah. And people have got handcuffs now. Everywhere what? you go. Yeah. Handcuffs, really? That's a bit random, isn't it? Yeah. Unless there's something say? going on uh, that we don't know about. Well, I don't know why people are carrying handcuffs in the kit bag. Uh, <laughs> but what what is what is this obsession with the, 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 the demonic entities now? Everything's got to have a demon name. Oh, you know? It's mad, isn't it? it all goes off and it's a demon. Oh, it's a demon. Let's get out of here. Three million likes. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. So, uh, somebody tried to post on my page the other day saying they've got demonic something. I thought, nah, yeah. ain't having it. Dilly, it's not yeah. going on. You know, it's yeah. like, no. Yeah, How do you know it's a demon? You don't. Everybody who's watching tonight, you know, I just saw Mickey yes. or Pip pull up and, uh, as well. He's, he's, he's watching it and, you know, 20, you know, 20, 30 years investing. They, they run, for, they go for the action wherever it is. If they see yeah. something negative, right. let me in. Let's go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what it should be about. You know, uh, put yourself in that position. Yeah, that's it. So Dave's never seen. Um, okay. An apparition of something like the energy. We've got Rich Austin yeah. as well. Hiya. Hi, Rich. Well done you're for amazing. the money raised. West London Paranormal. Oh, bless you, mate. Yeah. Mark, you and Mark are okay, mate. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I watch Expedition, <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Good, man. Get that. 
Uh, season three. <laughs> uh, give her, I guess, a little bit of that the other night. Couldn't stop laughing. Oh, you'll have to let us know <laughs> what that one is. Yeah. Um, people expect scary People expect scary on ghost investigations, so straight away it's a demon that's going to attack you. Um, yeah, I was yeah. hosting on Friday night, and uh, you know, you have the chat where you're from, if you've done this before. Yeah, I've been on most haunted experience. Okay, then this is going to be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? You know, it's not. <laughs> yeah. it's <laughs> yeah. 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 Demons, yeah. Always, demons, someone say demon, let me out. Um, oh, God. Which, no. is, which is old school, it'd be straight in there. Naked, running yeah. around, going, yeah, demons, demons. <laughs> I think somebody did know could investigate him, didn't they? Someone is in the US or something. Yeah. Did they get the stuff? Did they get the stuff? I don't watch it. Team? I don't know. I, can't, I think vaguely, yeah. Not literally. What channel was that? I, I don't know. I've heard about it. For us, given the limitations of the human perception with oh, our 3D yeah. existence, do you think it's unrealistic for us to be able to see a full apparition? Ooh, it's a question a raised question. as if. That yeah. is proof of the existence of spirit. Surely it's yeah. more realistic via third eye consciousness. I agree. I oh, know I agree that's with that. One for, that's yeah. way above our pay grade. So, yeah. <laughs> Kirsty, <third. laughs> yeah. Kirsty, you've got your. Kirsty's eyes always open. <laughs> well, well, no, third eye consciousness, yeah, you're totally correct. Yeah, you've obviously yeah. more, you've more you've expanded that way. Absolutely. You, yeah, you've you got know. you've got to have that medium the ship skills you're going to see a full apparition, but is it going to be visually or you know? In, uh, yeah, in your head. Well, I, I, I wouldn't I'm not class it. Some of these mediums, so I don't know. I don't know what they experience to me, but yeah, I, I would hope that was the case. The more the tune you are to it, the more chance you've got to see. But after twenty years, I've not seen a full. Um, I was asking Paul to get under a table and start moving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, on the yeah. table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good question, Kirst. Yeah, and the it's demon. Well, my grand yeah. always told me I'm a little devil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Nice one. What if we are the aliens? Brilliant question, Gary. Because yeah. I believe that we're all interconnected. You know, are, why why aren't we investigating aliens when we're on site? Why are vigil? Why can't we be? Crossing that dimensional path and yeah. talking and communicating with aliens. We don't know what is aliens. Uh, one of the girls out in Margaret Saturday night, she was a member of the UFO. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 wow. And um, she's of that opinion. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I read, um, sorry, I, I interviewed the guy, if you remember, yeah. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Stacey, his name was. Okay. Was it Ryan? No, it wasn't Ryan, sorry, it was Patrick. I forgot his name, but his theory was that all these haunted locations oh, the one who, yeah, yeah. The, uh, are, yeah. are in fact that the hauntings that reside there are in fact it's alien technology. These spheres that you see in the atmosphere roam in the haunted location because this sphere is a satellite for alien communication and some kind of tracking device. So to stop this is madcap, I know. <laughs> People go on to site and he doesn't want you there, so it replicates paranormal, so it replicates voices. What, what's the most common word you hear? Get out, get out. Yes. So this is that defence mechanism of this alien te tech yeah. warning you to, to move away from the perimeter, move away from the building, because you're interfering with alien defence technology. This is his, That was his theory. And I'll tell you why, it, it, there's some, some crossover, definitely took some crossover. Yeah. Well, well, you were there, weren't you? Um, you met the Newkirks, didn't you, one year? Greg and Dana yeah, Newkirk. Donna and, yeah, Donna and Greg, yeah. Yeah, so they, they did the um, Hellier, and that, that mentioned the sort of alien things, and they were communicating. They showed footage, yeah, right. and it seemed like they communicate with aliens rather than yeah. spirit. And we don't know what so we're you, communicating with, do we? We just so, assume. So if you watch um, or study the work, the work of Stephen Greer, so Stephen Greer will go to the Nevada desert, he will sit there with his group, um, you know, UFO or paranormal group, and they will meditate. And they're meditating in this, this, this desert, desert area. And their, their, their intention during meditation, these, there's footage of, of, of alien ships coming down to wow. them. You know, you know not, obviously not right down directly, 
but there's movement in the area that they're meditating in. So this yeah. interdimensional, or this, this frequency or whatever it is that they're resonating, 3D realm, whatever the curse you, you know, going on, talking about, that's that's what was happening from the power of meditation. And Stephen Drew has been doing this for years. Yeah. So interesting. There's a, there's a group near me, um, Luke Allerton, who's uh, Breaking Paranormal and Kimberly. Um, they do a part of something called CE5, I believe it's called. So they go out once a month in the woods and meditate, try and make um, communication. And they've had some yeah. weird stuff happen. It's that is so powerful. I mean, that's something yeah. that, you know, us talking about pushing the boundaries and, and new experiments. You know, meditation is something that we all need to, to consider doing. You know, yeah. I, 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 most of us are doing it through circle prior to the investigation for protective purposes or yeah. other purposes. But perhaps look at it for the communication aspect yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. got to keep pushing the boundaries, and you have. I think when you're doing a group mass meditation, you're all resonating with each other's fields, aren't you? So you become the power. Of, you know, become the one power, the power of one, perhaps. Yeah. It sort of helps with the energy levels. If they say that the spirit yeah. need the energy, then there you go. Like I was discussing the other day, like I don't get batteries drained. Like yeah. some people who go, oh, I got my battery drained, and like loads of people say that, but I've never had that happen yeah. because yeah. I say to them, you can use my energy, rightly or wrongly. So I yeah. think they probably thought, think, oh yeah, there she is. Whereas yeah. they don't drain my kit, and other people That's... take batteries and they just put yeah. batteries on the side for them. Mm -hmm. a good idea yeah it's fascinating isn't it that's learned something new that's a good old thing to do yeah put some spare yeah. batteries on yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, then. i've got a damn big battery i've got um little mobile one which i use um connect it to um a solar panel when i go camping so that'd yeah. be a good lot of power for him wouldn't it i have to take that yeah see so if you want some of that come on greg get this battery energy but yeah <laughs> It's not. It's not. It's eight nine o'clock yet. We was going to say was that back. What was that battery used for originally? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just been uh, camping because I, um, oh, yeah. I, I was going to <laughs> Wales. I was going to Wales and I didn't have any electricity. <laughs> yeah. oh. It's Shell Island, an amazing place. Oh, and um, oh, the damn tent blew down, which everybody does really there. So yeah. <laughs> It's like just down a causeway, so the causeway's not tough, not that often, but when it is, and then you know it's right on a hill, we've got a seal around you, and yeah, it does get a bit. Um, it trashes a few tents, put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's a beautiful, it. stunning place. But yeah, oh yeah, th this was weird. Like Carl Nottingham last year, he came, his camera wouldn't work, and it's fine when he got home. And you do find that frequently, how like. You know, people have been in a location, it doesn't work, and then move back to the base room, it's fine. I'm with you. I think something's going on there to drain it, but everybody says it's because you're in a dark, a damp, dark place, and obviously they can't conduct, uh, the, you know, with the, the damp, the moisture's uh, playing the battery up. I keep hearing that lots from the sceptics, but, but no, there's definitely more to it. It happens every time, doesn't it? Sure every time. As well. um, when I was oh, 14, come on, no. Um, I, I had... I don't know. I had something the other day, and it, it had batteries in, and I hadn't used it for years, and um, it was working. So, you know, that had been away from heater. It had been in bags. It had been. I think I've moved house with it as well. I don't know how the battery <laughs> hadn't curled up and died. To be fair, but it worked, and I was quite surprised. It's yeah, it's um, crazy. There, isn't it? When I was fourteen, I went on to our investigation with mine. Where you could do station hotel town and go up to the Dudley Castle. Um, as the media, I can't remember who it was at the time, was telling us on the tour about the Grey Lady, my mum's got a digital camera and it's taking photos. And then it just froze. And all it froze off is it's like as if the white mist had just come down the steps and it was totally frozen. Took the battery out to film everything, and that picture was still left on there. And the camera just uh, tried everything. Trying to restart it and it nothing. So she just left it. And I just said, oh, it's strange. It could be the lady, it could be nothing. Next day, I got back and then did all the troubleshooting again. And the camera's working fine. So she thought, I'll see that picture's still on there. Look at it all in. I'll tell you there, no foul tells at all. On that night, she took, saved. But again, that's that theory. 
Yeah. They they don't want this as the end. So that yeah. that happened so often. I, I mean, so often. So what is it? Can you can't blame environmental because there's got to be a percentage, a ratio of that lot that that's, that's, that's true, and it's not to do with the environmentals, and it's they're, they're draining right. the battery. And they're also intelligent enough to to stop that that, that filming. Yeah, that's it. And that happened at the weird, that weird shop. Um, awesome place if you get a chance in Nottingham. Um, so it's basically a shop, and it's got a lot of collectible items. It's also got some haunted items and um, electric chair there as well. So it's a very interesting place. Right yeah. up your street, that is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, Michelle had her camera, like, drained straight away, you know, and I don't know. And it's just weird how it happens all the time, isn't it? And people say that, you know, oh, you've got a cheap camera, but I've known it happened to people with the top, top specs, yeah, only yeah, HD, yeah, yeah. 4K, blah, blah, blah. It happens to the best of people. And even some of these YouTubers, you know, these minted yeah. YouTubers that have uh, got, you know, they've got 17 bloody 4K HD cameras, and uh, it, it, that, well, hopefully, I was clever enough to, to realize what's happened to them. But when you've got that many cameras, you probably don't. <laughs> no, that's it. no. Um, I, I had um, Nikon D3300, so sort of basic Nikon DSLR camera. Took it to Derby Jail. Um, the flash got knackered on it, so oh. never worked again after that, not properly. So then wow. I went back um, the next time and uh, the shutter jammed on it. So <laughs> I, I don't know why, you know, it's the only place I've ever had trouble with that camera and that was at Derby Jail. Who knows? Yeah, that's, you a know? Nikon. that's a Nikon DSLR and that is top spec. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Look, luckily, <laughs> like, I, I, have, I have got three levels of Nikon and luckily that was the cheapest one, to be fair. But, you know, yeah. that was the first one. It's the only one I had at the time. So since then, I bought two more. But, yeah. And, you, you know, it's like, oh, my God, Richard, you know, you, you've killed my camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's just weird, isn't it, what happens? But then you've got the other end of the spectrum where you've got people setting up with cheap infrared cameras, laying them static, and it's that grainy, crappy infrared <sighs> that anything that goes past is going to refraction of the light and create this sparkly <coughs> orb, whatever. And then they're going to be posting that on whatever uh, site saying, look, you know, it's my dead granddad's come back to see me where we all know it's not true. And, um, oh, no. The amount of videos I see of this on, online, I'm just, oh, my God, buy yourself a decent infrared camera. It don't happen with the, <laughs> the ring, does it? Or any, any other, you know, eye spec thing. Yeah, you know, but these doorbells... Oh, the doorbells yeah. now. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The number of paranormal uh, spiders' yeah. webs on these yeah. cameras. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It, well, on these ring cameras, I'm more scared about, you know, the look cases who come to your door. That's yeah. right. <laughs> have you had a few? <laughs> what, you two? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, yeah, posting letters. Oh, <laughs> bless you, yeah. <laughs> I think the most scary, scary footage I saw on the ring was when that serial killer went to somebody's house and I was on the ring and I mean that was like proper out the head, you know, ready to kill people. And I'm on this ring footage. Oh, I mean, that's scary. Yeah, that's scary. definitely. Have you seen that video yeah. on the Tesla as well when it drives through the cemetery and apparently it's picking up people? If you go on, look for the te Tesla in the cemetery and sort of drive through the cemetery and it's actually like a camera picking up people walking like as if they're walking by the gravestones and that, that chip coming up on there. Mm -hmm. Apparently, wow. it's oh, is that because of the, 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 the sense of the self driving? Like yeah, yeah. Because they must have cameras everywhere, they yeah. self driving. Yeah, have yeah. a look at that and see mm -hmm. what you think about that. Yeah. Well, this one is a Yeah, get okay, a Tesla. <laughs> 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 I'm going to cameras are I, I, the, the, the FLIR, the FLIR cameras, the, the thermal imaging stuff. Yeah. There's some good stuff on there. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, when, it, when it's left um, static in a void and, and we, you're picking up something moving, you know, and that's, that's obviously heat thermal. And yeah, I've seen some cracking stuff on the FLIR. Yeah, I've I've seen some good evidence on the floor. Yeah. I can't afford one. Well, I can't justify yeah, I mean, buying one, put it that way. Yeah. 
I've got some flares. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still wear flares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Got> short length. <laughs> But, yeah, I, you know, it, it is amazing. It's amazing what you see. But isn't it amazing how much footage is grainy and blurred? You know, you've got all these modern cameras. You can't get a blurred photo. But, my gosh, there's enough on these paranormal pages, aren't there, to blurred? Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, as I said, at the end of the day, who are we to, you know, to... Oh, bless you. Oh, Paul's got something? to carry on working. Oh. See you, Dingle. <laughs> see you, Paul. Yeah, well, see you at the Dudley Milking the dogs. <laughs> Which Tesla is epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tesla's yeah. epic. Imagine driving 200 miles to a paranormal investigation, didn't you, Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> well, the trouble with Tesla is as soon as you got to the invest, you'd die in the back end. <laughs> if it Which doesn't is... catch fire, whoops, shouldn't say that. <laughs> But that's how to heat a cold location, isn't it? Take one of them. Yeah, See what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've just been technology is advancing all the time. I think what, what AI are going to play in, in the part of, of investigation soon? Well, you know, what, what can that do for us? What that, can that create? I mean, you can ask that AI program online to design you a vigil. I saw people ask me, how do, how do I communicate with the dead? And this, this chatbot thing and AI will tell you what it feels from using the, the universal yeah. system. I mean, AI is going to play some parts into it in the coming years. Yeah, that is so, scary, though, isn't it? Yeah. And even one of the guys who developed it has said it's scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's quantum, already. Quantum, quantum computing is, is going to be a major player. Oh, definitely. Um, just reality alone, let alone paranormal. Um, that's strange, right. Strange times ahead. What are people doing at CERN now, you know, deep under the, the ground in Switzerland? That's got all quiet. They've yeah. gone quiet they've for a reason. Quiet. Yeah, they've gone quiet for a reason, as Neil says, CERN. Yeah. They, they, they've started to pick up stuff, I should Well, the, the other one, of course, is um, uh, that new James Webb telescope. That's already uh, looked that far back that they found galaxies now that uh older than what they thought the big bang was so they've got to reassess yeah, the, the whole universe yeah i sort of posted something That's about that the other day it's mad it's isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. So, this is what i say to, to people you know we're in an infinite infinite universe and we're here talking to this trying to talk to one little spirit you know and uh, we're in this infinite unbounded universe and how, how minuscule we are in comparison we are in a grain of sand in it oh definitely this is what scares me and scares the lads you know that little logic behind that and you get people coming on saying there's no such thing as aliens and i'm there going mm, right mm. What, what we're talking about in infinite habitable zones in infinite yes. solar yeah. systems yeah. and yeah. galaxies yeah. I, think, I just wobble your head wobble That's your head true. Yeah, we we've just not we've just got no idea, and it's the whole Richard, the whole time as well. It's not what Richard uh, Felix says about ghosts and people who are skeptics. You know, he always looks up, say, look up to the stars. That star that you're seeing in there now, that died over a, a million years ago. You're just getting the light of that star yeah. now. Yeah. You're telling there's no ghosts. That's right. Kirsty, it, right? Just it's yeah, amazing. it's um. It's not by design that we don't get undeniable proof of a collective level, question mark. What would be the consequence of that? Spirit surely ensure that doesn't happen. Yeah. You start you see you start here. That's what that's what the problem is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what you'd start with. Yeah. Well, in a big can of worms, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But then, if we got proof of it, would it be so much fun? I mean, the, the thought that there's a lot of people now. You could sort of, you could all sort of argue if the, if the government tomorrow said, "Right, uh, we've got something to tell you. There are aliens. We've got we've had footage. We've gone and we've yeah. had this, we've had that." Most people go, "Well, yeah, we, we knew that already." Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. And, and is the truth been known? And in my, my opinion. Already here anyway. They're just masked correctly, and oh, they're right. in the 
they're the elite. And um, yeah, where I go down, that the reptilian one, where I'll keep it quiet on that one. Another, another show. <laughs> That's for another show. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. But... Oh, bless you. The, the the white the White House came out with some papers, didn't they? About aliens well, and stuff. There's an awful lot come out. I've had the uh, yeah. Senate meeting, and um, and they well, they, they already know because they've decided all of a sudden we're changing. We ain't calling them UFOs anymore. We call them UAPs. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they, they obviously know that there's something, and, and they've got. Uh, I think they there was. I can't remember the exact figures, but there the, there was. So many papers released, and there was something like 2,000 documented cases. And I think even the government got it down as the said it might be 70, but I don't quote me on that. Something like 70. But, but, but even the government have said, Yeah, basically, we don't know what that is, it could be yeah. anything, and we, we're never going to be able to tell you what it is. So, so those pilots released, um, naval yeah. pilots released the footage of the gimbal, and there was a couple others, and, and these are from pilots, and these yeah. were yeah. these were not these were not classified, censored on the TV. This was public domain on the news. Yeah. The gimbal. Now, could this be technology from uh, you know the, the other side? You know, is mm. it just futuristic technology that we're using? Or what we're, they're not aware of, but if it is, if it is alien based, then they're trying to desensitize us to something going forward. Yeah. Oh, it's all intriguing, isn't it? Trickling information. Yeah. Definitely. Oh gosh. Softening, softening, well, that's that's always yeah. the case, isn't it? Softening your yeah, yeah, and then um, introducing a new major story to take you away from another one. Exactly. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. We uh, we're getting used that. to that, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, I do believe if they if they said tomorrow, yeah, we we, we will admit there are aliens. We we can confirm the existence of them. most people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we certainly wear it more. Well, I think a lot of people would be happy to say, "Oh, thank God for that. You finally come out and told them." <laughs> and guys, that's what we already know. Because they hear you, because they hear you need to go out and buy toilet paper. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that that was mad, wasn't it? Yeah, get your toilet paper. First sign of disaster. Need toilet paper. Yeah. But yeah, but so, what is your favourite location then, you guys? One at a time. Purely because it was my very first invest, Guy's Cliff always has been, always will be. Guy's Cliff House at Warwick. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love it there. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yet to find it, yeah. I've still got many more plays to do. I've got many more years. But currently, though, so, no. what, what's your current series? What's your current one? Uh, it was just where I've had the best experience, personally, myself, and that, for me, it was George Jarvis. Yeah, I'd love to, I would love to go there. What happened when you were there then? I explained earlier with the uh, hand manifestation when I did oh, yeah. the going, and then also when we was down in the uh, cellars and people are up, upstairs getting affected and you can hear it in that sound room. Yeah. Oh, he's been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kev loves um, George Jarvis as well. Yeah. But I, I've got, you know, I, okay. I really want to go. Oh, Kev saw a foot there. Wow. So you saw an Andy sort of foot. <laughs> yeah. The same place, the same building. Same oh, yeah. Building. Where was yeah. that, Kev? It was Jarvis. Where was that? What, what, what room? Foot, yeah. What room? What room was My that, Kev? My favourite has got to be um, just because the simple fact of Sutt spent so many hours there and it's part of my fabric and DNA now. That's uh, Smedic. Will always be smelly class just yeah. from all the, the errors and errors and hundreds of events we've done there. I mean, yeah. just just from the plethora of, of, of the energies there. I mean, there's just so it many. Was special, it was special there, so many layers and everything. He knows more about smelly bats than the spirits. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. just uh, what what our local council did was just sacrilege to let it go. Yeah, yeah. it's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, the, the big room, the, the big top. room at the top of the classroom looking one. It was in a caretaker room, that's what I mean. You saw it at the caretaker room. Um, the interesting, 
most interesting thing I saw at George Terry was there where Alistair said the clock room, there's a little boy apparently passed in the clock room at George Jarvis. So when oh. you go in there and shut the door, the level of intelligence from the little boy is really, really good. We was asking him to switch, switch, switch between the gear, between the REMs and, and the triggers, and it was doing that on command. So brilliant, yeah. If, if Jolene's still watching, ask her what her favourite part of George Jarvis is. <laughs> well, does she set fire to it? No, <laughs> not this one. Um, just this, this was a, a bad night for us. Yeah. Oh gosh. I'll we'll say no more. Yeah. I don't know if she's I'll watching anymore, but we'll see. She might be on. She might be on. She might be on now. Yeah, true. So yeah, we've, got, um, we've got Gary, and Gary's saying experience. where we're going to be one year, three, five, ten years' time in the paranormal field. Portals, yeah. time slips, Stargate. Portals, time travel, return to the eras of the past. But, yeah. The past. All of it. <laughs> All of it, Gaz, out for all of it, yeah, because yeah. I think that be... because more people are looking now, aren't they? Yeah, like wouldn't it be 10, wonderful 20, if... 30 years ago, people weren't looking as much. No. Yeah, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could create a, a, a stargate or a gateway where we could just walk through, you know, and walk into another dimension or a realm and then come back and then, you know, what I mean, imagine, yeah. I'm sure, or I'm positive, our ancestors used to be able to do that. You can't tell me Egyptians didn't do it. I did everything. So they're a, yeah. they're they're aggressive aliens. about it, aren't they? <coughs> <coughs> Definitely. Let's walk through this portal together, see what's there, and you know, that'd be amazing. Yeah. And then come back and then we'll try another one. But well, I think that could happen eventually. I'm sure we've already had the technology, so welcome to Gaza's world. <laughs> yeah. Gaza's oh, like world is naked jacuzzis and uh... <laughs> Yeah. Some and dodgy Salisbury football right. team. Um, yeah. yeah. Alistair yes. says we'll be investigating grade two listed costas. Can anybody smell that coffee? <laughs> oh, wait. Th this is a good one. What about the truth around Antarctica? So I read a book called Fingerprints of the Gods. Yeah. So basically, they were saying, like back in the day, somebody did a map of Antarctica yeah. when it was covered in ice, and yet yeah. it it was right, you know, without yeah. any tools of doing it or anything, and yet they managed it. And okay, yeah. so Antarctica re research operation high jump. So right. it was just after the war, and America sent their entire naval fleet to Antarctica. And they said it was to hunt the last Nazis, but it was more than that. And they said it was to, to charter and, 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 and yeah. navigate Antarctica. But why send a, a heavily armoured naval fleet to Antarctica? And the stories are that that's where they heard of about of a, an active UFO base. And wow. they sent them there. Yeah. And it weren't to do nothing to do with flat earth. It was to do with <laughs> not the edge of the world. It was to do with the U um, an alleged alien base there. Yeah, and which the, the, it would make sense. Yeah, the Nazis as well during their time. You know, obviously, you know about the occultism that the Nazis practiced during the war. Yeah, they also designed. If you remember, they designed the Bell UFO, Bell UFO, yeah. Bell UFO yeah. based on alien tech, and they had a link with this UFO base apparently in Antarctica. That's why wow. I've got his name, Operation High Jump. Just research it. it right. Really yeah, good. and it tallies with what you just said. About your map on was that Eric von Danigan who who, who returned fingerprints of the gods? There it was the other guy, Graham Hancock. No, Graham Hancock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a great book. read, great read. Chariots of the gods, fingerprints of the gods. So Antarctic, yeah. yeah. Gary, spot on, mate. Pivotal. Yeah, that's it. Um, Rich Austin. Um, when I'm going for past life regression session in a couple of months, I'll tell you where I was 400 years ago. Probably <laughs> in an old inn's supping <laughs> ale, cuddling a buzz. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Good man. My, pa my past life regression was a bit ropey, and I was a bloke. And there's a bit where I went behind a bar, got a bottle of moonshine, and I was walking through the streets absolutely hammered. This bottle of moonshine <laughs> from the pub. And I've actually got footage of it, which I will I will release. And 
like the guy who did it, did it, Robbie Crosson, he said, like, the funniest moment watching this was when I was <laughs> going through being drunk, walking the streets of Nottingham. I was an, I was an Edwardian rent bond. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, it was Stillies. That's the title of the book. I was an Edwardian Redford. I'm definitely Yeah. Oh, it used to be. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, don't do Saturday nights much now. Not not like I used to. Yeah, I used to run a pub, so yeah. I used to have one or two. We're all right. You have to if you run a pub, don't you? Yeah, yeah. What rent boys? <laughs> Have a um, drink or two, but yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. If you buy, get bought a drink, you gotta drink it, aren't you? Rude not to. For sure, for sure. But yeah, <coughs> but, oh, but yeah, it's such a fascinating world. And like when we met you guys in Walsall as well, that was cool. That's cool night out, oh, yeah. you know, all para oh, people yeah. having a I laugh. Like so we do a, a, an annual para piece up, and we just get red points. <laughs> <laughs> We, we do a para piece up once a year, so um, we just do a paranormal pub crawl. All wear your, your tops and your, <laughs> your, your uh, merchandise to your teams, and then we we, we take over yeah. the local town. Yeah, yeah, it was it was brilliant. It's pissing it down with rain, no, mind you, but it's good. One unless, unless she knows Vicky Vicky uh, Wells, and she threw up in the kebab shop. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Vicky. Yeah. She's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but she she yeah. threw up all over my local pizza shop once. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a it top was a night. <laughs> it was a no, I missed space. it. I missed it because I had to drive back. Because oh, I, yeah. I didn't stay up. Oh, I was stressed <laughs> as a woman. <laughs> I ran well, so I missed uh, that bit. <laughs> that was just a wedding. <laughs> that was a wedding, but yeah, you, you know, it's an incredible night, night and... You know, you do a lot, not just for paranormal, but you know, this charity as well for the Samaritans. That that was yeah. incredible, and people do need yeah. help at times, don't they? Yeah. So we we raised twelve hundred pounds for for the Samaritans Christmas, and it was the community, not just us. We just put it together, but the community chipped in, selling tickets, and readings, and etc. Yeah. And that twelve hundred pounds, seriously, when me and Dennis went to to hand the, the cash over to them. I was all in tears and in bits with it. And if it just oh. helped one person have a smile on their face Christmas, then you know, all of us, us guys are happy. So right. everybody who contributed or got involved in that, I mean, I was nearly in tears myself on the one night. I was, I was sat, I sat in a pub and um, the guys from Paranormal Path, um, she, she just sent me, she never met me in her life and, and sent me £100. While I was sat in the pub, £100. Not me. And then Bellwood, Bellwood sent me hundred pounds. Not me. Up. I didn't send hundred quid. No, 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 no. It was um. I forgot the lady's name. But it was Not me. Paranormal path. That's me. Oh, sorry. Paranormal <laughs> penny pinches. Sorry, penny uh, pinches. Paranormal penny pinches. Yeah, Pe I did send pinches. some, but not hundred quid. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But penny that, pinches. That, that night when it's your birthday, and you went to Weatherspoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many drinks did you get? So what a few, quite a few, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that app, and I'm in with the spoons. I'm on this table. It's my birthday, and then yeah. I've got a, I've got a load of stuff sent across to us. So this is all yeah. from the community, and yeah, I really, really was spoiled for my birthday. But Samaritans are so close to our hearts, and well, that, yeah. This, so the Samaritans don't get funded by the government; they, they have to fund themselves. Wow, and I didn't such, know a, that. such an important. Yeah thing for all of us really yeah you never know what you're going to need no that's it so, yeah. I, had, I had some dodgy news what got me down today you know if you don't like monday mornings and straight away your yeah. boss says she's leaving it's like oh god no but <laughs> you know and uh yeah so and it, you know thing, things can hit you just like that and it's like oh dear we've all got our we've all got our triggers as well and of course what we, you have, definitely. What we do on a weekend as well, you know, walking into somebody's energy field, you know, the deceased energy field, who possibly died of trauma or of mental illness, you're going to take yeah. a bit of back, back, back with you and you're going to experience it if you're an empath. So that's you've just right. got to look, I mean, we're in the game that's, the, 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 you know, a lot of people suffer with MH issues. So. That's right, yeah. yeah. 
because yeah so it was stacy thanks Alison. Stacey and john mckenzie penny stacy sent me 100 pounds and i also bell walked within a minute of each other uh, oh, just, it's, um, uh, uh, well it's not both, bell so. it's not bell ward anymore is it oh sorry yeah I thought, yeah, <laughs> Norbury, Lord, Norbury, Norbury. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but yeah you know it's amazing what you guys have done and it, it, I like the way you sort of investigate as well, the amount of energy, the different experiments you do. You know, it's brilliant. And um, I, yeah, I hope, you know, you, I hope you do some round here so I can join you sometime. Yeah, of course. We, need, we need to find some new ones, don't we? Yeah, I mean, it's new. If anybody's got any ideas and they want to try them or they've got a sketch or something, let us know. We'll try anything. You know, we'll try anything. Yeah, reason. <laughs> yeah, reason. Me, yeah. me lying in a coffin with coins on my. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no human centipede. No, that only would be dual to do. <laughs> That's a bit random. Yeah. <laughs> no, no <comment> <laughs> That's the mind. That's the mind. Yeah. But, but, um, yeah, we'll I want, but I want to thank you for coming on. It, it's been a laugh. Yeah. yeah I, I can't. I can't believe that you didn't have a beer going. <laughs> <laughs> You I, got, got, I got called off Saturday for work, having one. So. Work, work tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh bless you. Yeah, yeah no. I had a winter <laughs> warmer at the event on Saturday. I got told off, so I need to set an example. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so um, if you if you want to check them out, Wednesday Paranormal. I think most people here are actually yeah. uh, friends we, with Wednesday. No so we're not on <laughs> websites. We're not on anything. Facebook. And Para yeah, Paraflix. Oh, we want yeah, but we haven't filmed on there for years. But some of our old right. stuff's on. Yeah, I had yeah. an amazing check this afternoon for for Paraflix. So thank you. <laughs> 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 we had at least three people watch our, our, our footage. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, um, no, no. Seriously, if you just, if, you know, if you want to be part of the family and have a come and have a good crack, no egos. You know, we're just all, just all, all in it for the passion of it. And that, that's that's the way it should be, isn't it? Yeah. I think, yeah, you know, yeah, once you get the ego, that's it, it just destroys it, doesn't it? And like, you oh. know, we back everybody as well, you know, so the people talk to us and want to, you know, but the people, people have uh, criticised us and never even met us, you know, a most warm, friendly bunch of people you could ever meet. And, you yeah. know, uh, but people just, yeah, I don't know why. I just see our faces I, and think. I I had somebody oh, down oh. south call me to somebody. Oh, don't don't go out with her. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I don't even know the bloody woman. It's madness, <laughs> isn't it? You know, really. Yeah. Who yeah, are you? you know? <laughs> but, Never judge a voice cover. Oh, it's, you know, like you hear stories about people just go out, meet these people, see what you think. You know, yeah, people. Exactly. A lot of people just talk rubbish, and yeah, just go yeah. out, have fun, and. Last too short. But thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks for the chat. It's been brilliant as ever. Thank you. That's Thank all you. right. Thank you, everybody. Happy Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.